The holidays can be the most wonderful time of the year, but for some, the winter season has a negative effect. Seasonal affective disorder in impacts millions of Americans, leading to symptoms of depression. Bradley Blackburn has more on what doctors say you can do about it. Every morning in the fall and winter, McGann Feldman starts the day with a cup of coffee and one very bright light. I just have it kind of at the side uh, while I'm having my breakfast, reading the paper. Feldman says she first experienced symptoms of depression more than 30 years ago, serious enough to require hospitalization. Her doctors later realized some of her symptoms were connected to the changing seasons. It was a surprise. I'd never heard of seasonal affective disorder. Our bodies, you know, really depend upon light from the sun or sunlight to regulate our circadian rhythms. And Dr. Dorothy Sid is a psychiatrist you know, with Northwestern University. She studies how light therapy can help treat seasonal affective disorder and other forms of depression. More recent studies have shown that it can be very helpful for treating non-seasonal major depression. It can be used on its own or in combination with some antidepressants medicine. According to a recent American Psychiatric Association poll, nearly 40 percent of Americans say their mood declines in winter and a quarter report feeling depressed. Patients with seasonal affective disorder can feel fatigued or less motivated and they may not be able to enjoy their normal activities. That treatment makes a big difference for you. It's fair to say it's it's almost life or death to me because I know where I have been uh, without it in the winter. In addition to light therapy, Fellman takes antidepressants with higher doses from October through May. There are tools out there that can help people be happy, lead a normal life, and not feel alone. She wants others to know the winter blues are real, but help is out there. Bradley Blackburn, CBS News, New York.